I'm going to look at this Elto power board here. Now, power boards are notorious for being potentially fire causing. This particular brand, it's not been a great one. So there's good brands out there. You can get good balls, which are really good, and they've got good contacts inside them. They're really safe. This particular brand, I've come across every single unit of theirs I've seen, hasn't really been good enough, in my opinion. This particular one here has got a whole bunch of faulty power points on it. I get its own plug. That kind of wants to go in, but it's catching. That is barely even touching. One side feels like it's not touching at all. That's engaging okay. That actually feels all right. This one basically doesn't feel good. At least in New Zealand, the quality is not as good as is in other countries as far as the construction expectations. The actual brass contacts inside, or copper contacts, which may be usually the brass, I think, they don't have much thickness to them. And a good contact will be quite good resistance. So if you push the, the plug in, you can feel you actually push it against the contacts and opening the contacts up to get the pin in. Okay, which again, when you're trying to pull it out, you feel a lot of resistance. Now, the cheaper balls, you don't really get that. You might just find that sort of just basically fall in there, and you know, it's not much effort to get the things in. Now, this is a cheap board. I think the earth pin's doing all right, the other two pins, not so much. Earth pin's got resistance, the other two, yeah, not really. Um, one of them's got a bit of resistance on that one. Yeah, that one's not feeling too bad, but it's still not great. And this one, just, yeah, that's just wrong. So, this board is faulty. I know if I plug things into this board, half the time it doesn't work. There's no power, even though it's plugged in. All right, so I'm going to pull this board apart and um, let it look inside and look at the construction quality. I mean, I do have balls for but like Philips and companies like that, which have been really good ones. They've been robust. They feel robust. You put the plugs in there and they feel got a nice so connection and other brands as well. But my experience of these Elto ones is like, well, I don't think the quality is really there. Anyway, we'll have a look. Don't forget to click like and subscribe as well if you enjoy the videos or you like what I make. Now these use a security screw which is okay, I don't mind that. Now I'll give them some credit on this one. This is actually a good thing they've done here. The security screws they've used are removable. Okay, now I've actually seen other brands which have actually been better balls generally. But the screws have got like a special slot screwdriver on them and they're actually non-reversible so you can only put the screws in you can't take them back out again. So they're not made for anyone to be able to repair them or you know, replace the cable on them or anything like that. They're made single use, that's it. Once it breaks, you throw it away. So good on Elto for at least for using the correct kind of screws, which means someone with the correct bits and the correct tools can actually get in here and potentially fix it. You know, that I'm gonna give them credit for. But I think the construction quality isn't really as good as maybe they'd envisage themselves on them either. Let's find out. Let's get in here. Last, last screw out. So, material in here. This is cavity number two. It's got number two there. And I don't see any other markings, which is surprising. I would have thought there'd be a material marking or something on there. This side here. No, I'm not seeing anything there either. What's behind this switch? Cavity number two again. That's it. Yeah, there's no material marking saying what the plastic is. It should be ABS. You know, it's most likely what it is. I mean, mm, maybe. So let's look at the construction. So here's the earth rail, which, like I said, felt okay. When I was pushing the, the plugs in, the earth actually felt good. So let's look at this one. So this is a nice format. This is a nice design. Got these spring contacts which opens up, right? These are okay, right? I think the gauge of the material will, could be slightly thicker, it is a little bit on the thin side. They do bend a little bit too easily for my liking, but they felt okay. Those are the ones that actually felt alright. So I'll put that back in. And then we've got the phase neutral. So, phase in this one is the brown or hot in US, right? Obviously, this is our socket design. So this is the hot rail, which you can see, pushed out, pushed out, you know, and damaged a little bit. That one's okay. And that one there is also bad. So this is the one I just said felt kind of okay. And that's that one. So, yes, it was. But these other ones, not so good. So I'll put out the neutral rail first. I'll have a look at that one. 
go. So again, very thin material, but look at how they've done this. It's like a loop. So this design is nowhere near as good as the earth pin. The earth pin is a good design. It's a nice positive connection. That's how a lot of systems are done worldwide from what I've seen. These, it's slipping through a little loop, which has got a small press area on it. So it's nowhere near as good. I'm not liking that. <laughs> They're not as positive. You can't really get those closed up as nicely as you can the other ones to get them to be a nice positive fit. And the phase connection, which is here. This is also the same design. Excuse my cat. But obviously what's happening is when I'm pushing a plug in, it's caught on the edge on the front here. Look at this one here, it's completely destroyed. Because they're not a good design. I don't recommend this brand. So if you have one of these Elto boards, I would suggest not buying any more. And if you feel that the plugs don't feel like they're a good connection, then maybe discontinue use because house fires are often caused by things like this, I believe, right? Where you have a bad electrical connection and it will arc, and it will start to smolder and get hotter and hotter because of the arcing and it will catch fire. This sort of thing could potentially cause a house fire if you've got a bad connection. Which is why I think, well, I'm really surprised that the quality of these is deemed to be acceptable because I don't think these are good enough, really. I mean, how many house fires are these things potentially caused by having a design like this or similar to this? We have a nice positive connection like we do on the Earth. The Earth is really good. If they did that same connection for all of these as well, it would have been absolutely fine. It's not a great design. You know, I'm going to fix this up and I'll make these a bit tighter and I'll, I'll adjust the tolerances on these a bit, close them up a bit, adjust. I mean, look at this one, it's all bent the other way. See, it's bent outwards there, it's been pushed out. You know, it's just no good. Actually, if you look at this one here, can you see these? See these black dots? There and there. See that? And there. These have all been arcing. All of those connections have been arcing. What does that say? Yeah, another one there as well, on that side. So yes, these have, um, they've been arcing. Now the fact there's evidence of arcing, that kind of proves that the design's not that good, is it? So I went through, tidied up all those connections, and made them all a bit tighter, and unbent everything, put it all back where it should probably be, and um, should be probably be where it should probably be. And this is feeling better. But I think part of the problem with these connections is that the actual pins only barely contact inside as well. Then they just go in because of the depth of those connections. I mean, it's going a lot better now. It's much tighter than anything like it should be. But I think it's only literally going in by a couple of millimetres, really, into those actual connections inside there. It doesn't really engage until it gets down that far. It is too deep. You know, it's not very good in that way, which means that if you plug slightly out, um, it's going to cause problems. Anyway, so my recommendations when it comes to buying power boards, do not scrimp, do not buy the cheapest boards. I didn't buy this, this is, I don't know, I acquired it somehow. Um, I think it's some junk being chucked out by someone, and I had a whole bunch of boards that earn it. Some good ones, some bad ones. It's one of the bad ones. So, my recommendation when it comes to power boards, do not scrimp, buy the better ones because it's not worth having a house fire for the sake of trying to save $20. Not worth it. Buy a good one. You know, get one with surge protection and stuff built into it as well. Get one of these slightly better ones which help potential gear at the same time. I mean, this has got an overload. That's about it. And to be honest, I don't think it's going to take 10 amps to be honest anyway. I think it'll probably melt before then. <laughs> don't buy cheap. Cheap has its place, not when it comes to mains electricity. You don't go cheap then. This is your public service announcement. Don't forget to click like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye. Okay, don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, don't forget to like 
and subscribe.